Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom stars Jim Caviezel, Bill Camp, and is directed by Alejandro Monteverde. What's up, guys? I just got out of Sound of Freedom, uh, literally just hearing about this movie about a week ago. And um, I, I love when movies like this come along that you know they're low budget, they come out of nowhere, and they really give the cinematic landscape the kick in the butt that it needs. And uh, this one, I think, is really important. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy around this movie, which after seeing this movie, I don't really understand why. Um, and, I, and I'm not going to get, like, political. As a matter of fact, let me, let me set the, uh, the table for you as far as, like, where I am politically. You should never have to do this, but I feel like I need to, so that way I can set aside any biases that you might think I have. Um, I, I don't lean really one way or the other. I'm not a really uh, political type of person. I got into YouTube because I love talking about movies. Simple as that. I've always really been into movies. Uh, so I don't lean to the left. I don't lean to the right. I lean, I guess, more to common sense. You know, that's pretty much been my guide throughout my, my whole life. And uh, I think there's a lot of people that they're not really politically driven, and that's fine. So I went into this movie just wanting to watch a good movie. And this is based on a true story about uh, Tim Ballard. Uh, this is the first time I ever heard of this person. Uh, and he was on this task force for Homeland Security uh, that targets uh, human trafficking. There's been movies made about human trafficking before. And I can tell you right now, for those that are, you know, that tried to block this movie from happening, um, it, it exists. I can tell you that right now. I, I literally know people that have dealt with this matter firsthand that have seen the evidence you know there's a reason why a lot of jobs you do these days you have to do human trafficking training so where the controversy is with this movie stating that there's like a conspiracy theory i personally i think everything that i saw in this movie there's a good chance that it did happen okay but now i will say this is a movie you know call it a hollywood movie call it whatever you want you know but i said any movie that comes out there's probably a 99% chance that some liberties might be taken, and that's just so they could properly put the story together and entertain you. This movie does both of those things. It is entertaining, but there's a message behind it, you know, and I do believe there's some truth behind it. I saw this in a packed theater on a Tuesday night. People are getting behind this movie. They want to support this movie. They believe in something. I find that inspiring. I really do. I love that about this movie. Thankfully, it is great. And thankfully, it doesn't really push any kind of agenda on you. It doesn't try to preach at you and try to force any type of religion upon you. You know, I, I will say that the main character in this movie, I think it's obvious that he's Christian, even though, again, that's not something that's beaten down your throat either. You know, he's just he, he's in a job that is I wouldn't wish on anyone. You know, the, the things that this guy has to see every day are just brutal. And I guess that's a good place to start with the, the plot synopsis on this movie because it opens up with our main character, Tim, played by Jim Caviezel. And he's got this partner. And right away, his partner's like, I can't do this. And Tim, you know, main character, he understands that. You know, this is not for the faint of heart. This is a job that asks a lot of you. Uh, it asks a lot of your time. And uh, it can mentally break you down. So it takes a special type of person to handle a job like this. You know, I was in the military for 24 years and I've known so many different types of soldiers, you know, because we all have different MOSs, different, different jobs. And I've seen some of those jobs that it takes a, a mentally strong type of person to handle. Hell, you see some ugly things when you deploy. And I know this is probably your normal type of review for this movie. I've probably taken way too long, but this movie hit me. It really did. Um, it was tough to hold back the tears coming out of it uh, because, yeah, it's about a broad issue, but luckily the film is made beautifully and it, it focuses in on two children in the movie. Uh, and Tim, he's trying to save these two children. That's pretty much what the story is about. I don't want to give too much away because I want you guys to go in and experience this for yourself. Uh, but I like when movies come along that really strike a chord and that move you. And Jim Caviezel gives such a great performance. And you know what? 
people have stated that Jim Caviezel is a little weird and, and whatever, but this is a man who has conviction, the actor himself, and he's playing a character that has conviction. And to me, that's inspiring. You know, I might not align with every single little belief that Jim Caviezel has, but I like the direction that he's going in this movie, that he wants to stand up for something. And the character that he's playing, Tim, uh, is a true hero. You know, the things that he does in this movie, putting himself on the line in harm's way, you know, because he works for Homeland Security and he's got a boss that's saying, hey, we're not going to go to Honduras and deal with those problems. Let's let them deal with those over there. And he just gets so invested because he wants to get these children home that he quits his job and says, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do this. And when he gets over there, he meets this other character named Vampiro, played by Bill Camp, who this used to be a really bad man. He worked for the cartel and something happened in his life that kind of turned him around. And he didn't, you know, he didn't want this to happen anymore to these children. So he helps Tim and Tim would not be able to accomplish the, the, the objective that's in this story without the character Vampiro. Now, guys, I guess let's talk about, uh, for lack of a better term, Christian movies. Um, first and foremost, I like to be entertained with a movie and I like the movie to have good actors and, um, a good production. You know, we want the bells and whistles in the movies, right? So I can say right now, I'm not the type of guy that goes out and watches a lot of Christian cinema because oftentimes you do get really bad acting and, and right away it takes me out of the movie or your production value might not be the best. I don't know. Or they can even be kind of closed-minded. I will admit that, all right? Um, this movie was none of those things. It, it's focused on one specific plot point, one specific objective, and I think it's a universal theme. Like I said, this is not agenda-based. It doesn't try to preach at you. It's just a very moving story, and I, that's the way to do it, you know? You, get, you have amazing performances. You got great locations, beautiful cinematography, and Alejandro, um, and it's directed absolutely wonderfully by uh, Alejandro Monteverde. And one example, too, is like for those that don't speak Spanish, a good portion of this movie is in the Spanish language. But you are right there the whole way, and you never have a, a, a problem keeping up. Obviously, there's subtitles, but really you kind of understand what's going on the whole way. This is a movie that didn't even really need dialogue because the story is told so well and it's so matter of fact. You know, you know the objective of these characters. The subject matter is dealt with extremely tastefully. You know, it drives the point home. But I will say, I think this movie should have been rated R. And I think there were a couple of children in the theater. Children should not watch this movie. I'm going to tell you right now. So if you have small children, do not bring them to this movie, even though it's PG-13. But the story is completely compelling. I have to give this movie a trap on an island. And I was extremely skeptical going into this movie. Uh, I was thinking, like, what's all the fuss about? And I was wrong. It was phenomenal. What, and I tell you, the silence at the, in the end credits um, was almost deafening. And I just love that how everybody's getting behind this movie, you know, uh, because for whatever reason, and I don't want to get into the politics of it, but this movie was shelved for five years, you know, and it finally saw the light of day. However that happened, you know, I'm not going to try to get controversial or anything, but it happened. Uh, you know, and I think, I truly think great movies find their audience some way, you know, but it does take motivation. It does take perseverance. And luckily the filmmakers made this happen. So enough of my rambling, definitely get out there, go see this movie. I know that you can, if you, like, if you don't have the money, you can go on the website. They have a pay it forward program and you can actually get a free ticket to go see it. So I urge you guys to see this movie as soon as you can. Um, I think this movie, this is the type of movie that's needed every few years. And this movie is so heavy that I'm not even going to give you my normal outro. I'm not going to ask you for anything. I'm just going to say, go see this movie. Thanks guys.